Hey streamers, this is part two of the WP stream settings uh, explanation. In part one, I discussed the general options, what each of those settings mean. And in this one, I'll be discussing the default channel settings. So these settings may look familiar. That's because they are, you find them on each of your channels and you can change them individually. The difference with default channel settings is that whenever you enable or disable things here. Whenever you create a new channel, all of these settings will be automatically set. So for example, you want to record every single live stream, uh, show the viewer counts on all your live streams as well, and also lock your live streams to your website so that they cannot be shared on other websites. As for autoplay and start muted, these work together. So autoplay is when a user clicks on your link to your live stream and the live stream starts automatically, there are higher chances that it will start if you also enable start muted together, but it is still no guarantee based on different browsers. Next, let's discuss the encrypt live stream and use sessions with encryption. So this is basically part or step one and step two of encryption you can enable encrypt live stream and then use sessions with encryption, but you cannot use use sessions with encryption alone without enabling encrypt live stream. So keep that in mind. Next is auto turn on. So if you're using something like OBS studio to broadcast, you can click on start streaming. If you have the RTMP set up already and you can go live as for video on demand, lock to website and encrypt video on demand. These are once again, locking to your website and protecting your live stream. So that is it for the default channel settings. In the next video, I'll be discussing the subscription settings.